well, who's come here for tequila today? Well, no, it's not that tequila. A lot of you would have figured that out by now. You know, I mean, I don't want to talk about alcohol at this particular point, but the tequila I'm talking about is based on so many questions that I get from each of you almost on a daily basis. Luke, how do I stay motivated? How do I stay consistent with my health goals? So, yep, that's what we're going to use tequila for today. Let's break it down right now. T, what is your target? A lot of us don't have targets. We just say, hey, I want to lose weight. I want to build muscle. But what is your target? Write it down. Write exactly what target it is that you're trying to achieve when it comes to your health benefits. Even some people going through cancer or disease. What is your target? I know you want to get well, but what is your exact target? I want to handle the side effects better. I want to make sure that my gut doesn't go completely out of whack. So T is number one, your target. For everyone who came here for tequila, you can apply the same concept anyway. Uh, once I'm done, you understand the whole meaning of this. So T is target. What is E? Emotion. You have to bring emotion with your target. What do I mean by this? A lot of people have goals, they have targets, but they don't have this burning desire, this hunger to achieve it. Okay, we have to bring emotion, the right emotion. Not negative emotions like you fail one day so you give up or you just feel negative about your target or you just feel you're not good enough. No, the kind of emotion I want you to bring to your target is that burning desire, that hunger so that you don't have to be dependent on motivation every single day to meet your target. That's your E. When it comes to your Q, quality. What are some of the qualities that you are going to now have to bring to the table to achieve your target? Achieving your target will require you to bring new qualities or change certain qualities that you have. You see, just a diet plan, you could have the best diet plan in the world, but it gets you no results. You can have the best physical personal trainer in the world, but you get absolutely no results because you're not changing certain qualities within you. What are some of these qualities that we need to change? We need to change many qualities sometimes. Things like not giving up, the quality of food, the quality of the air that we breathe, the quality of the food that we buy, the quality of the ingredients that we put in, the quality of the choices of restaurants that we choose, even the quality of your friends matter. So that's the cue in tequila for you. Let's come to you, unique. Remember when you have a target and a goal with health, you are a unique individual. It's called bio-individuality. That's why you can copy anyone's diet plan. It'll not work for you. You can copy people's exercise plans. It doesn't work for you because you are unique. The food for your body is unique. The kind of movements for your body is unique. The amount of sleep that you need is unique to you. Some things stress you out, some things don't stress other people. You're a unique individual and that's why your target, the qualities that you choose all have to respect the uniqueness and the bio-individuality of yourself. That's your you. When it comes to the I in tequila, information. What is the information that you need to meet your target? You don't need a ton of content overload on Instagram and social media. What is the exact information that you need in order to meet your target? So that's the I, information. L, learning. Always be open to learning. Never, ever stop learning. You may think that, hey, my friend did this and that and he hit his target or she hit her target. You gotta be open to learning. You're a different person every day. Learn, why am I doing this? Why do I eat this particular food? Why am I working out in this particular manner? Why do I need eight hours of sleep? Because I feel so good. It is so important. Learn more about yourself. Learn more about life. Who are you when you're angry? How does it change the way that you eat? We're constantly learning, not just from the outside world, but from our own selves. We learn our trigger points, what makes us angry, what makes us binge eat. You wanna constantly be learning all the time. And A is your attitude. What is your attitude when it comes to life, when it comes to your target, when it comes to negativity, when it comes to people? That's exactly the tequila that I'm serving you today. Now, if you enjoy a tequila, I don't have a problem. The problem has never been with the alcohol. The problem's always been with the person behind the bottle. So you can even apply tequila when you're drinking your tequila. What is your attitude? Are you there to drink because you wanna fit in? You wanna be cool? You're drowning your sorrows? You know, you have the wrong intentions and attitude about alcohol, you become the slave. You become a slave to the bottle. So you can even, you can even uh, apply my technique of tequila to the tequila you're actually drinking. But anyway, let's not talk about alcohol right now. Let's come back to tequila. Let's repeat that once again. T is your target. E is the emotion you bring, hunger. 
a desire to achieve that target. Q are the qualities that you need to adopt or the qualities that you need to change. U is respecting your unique self. I is information that you need, information that you need to meet your target. L is learning, always be open to learning about yourself, more about you. And A is the attitude that you wear every single day. It's amazing how many people join this particular live only because of the word tequila. Anyway, you know, my, you, you know me by now. Uh, like I said right again, I'm not here to put down people who drink. My longest living patients drink 100, 101. They have two drinks every day. But hey, you can't say they do that. They have different lives. They're different people from you. Their stress levels are different. You know, they don't abuse alcohol. They eat well. They eat clean. They eat home food. There are many, many things. So never look at, hey, people are drinking alcohol, I can do it too. I can also tell you the downsides of alcohol. It's not uncommon for us to have people in their 20s today on a wait list for a new liver because they've destroyed it with alcohol. It's not uncommon to find people who have destroyed their marriages, relationships, and their living relationships with alcohol. It's not uncommon to find how people have used alcohol to, de to destroy their professions, their businesses, and everything around them. So you wanna be careful of that. It isn't for everyone. And if you're doing it, wear the right attitude. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, breathe deep, and remember, you care is all about you.